Yo, what's going on, guys? It's CJ, and I'm going to show you how to change your font for any social media site, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever you use. You can change your font for any of these websites, including YouTube. I'm going to show you some secrets, so hold on. Please don't tell anybody about this stuff, okay? This is very secretive. Okay, if you're tired of the plain text that you always put out and you're ready to change this font and make it different, make it stand out and have your own signature, kind of like this shirt here where, you know, the font is different, all right? I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Pay attention. Here we go. All right. So for YouTube, if you're on YouTube and you comment and you want to change your font, there are three ways that you can change your font. I'm actually going to zoom in on this. I'm going to change the font to bold. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've changed my font to bold all the time. When I comment, I comment in bold for a reason. One, to let you know it's me. And I also just like to do that as my own signature. All right. So in order to comment in bold, the first step is to use asterisks. So when you comment, you're going to put an asterisk at the very beginning and at the end of your words. So an asterisk at the beginning, an asterisk at the end. Hit save. Now my comment is in bold. All right, so the next one. Let's say you want to comment in italics. You're going to, I'm going to delete that, put underscore at the beginning, underscore at the end. Now I have TubeBuddy and it's actually showing me what it looks like, but if you don't have TubeBuddy, you don't need it. You just need to know the code, which is for bold is asterisk, for italics, it is underscore, and the last one is strike through. And all you would do is press the dash in the beginning and put a dash at the end, and that is strike through. Okay, now let's just say you want to go and make it bold and italics. You can do that. Asterisk, underscore, at the beginning underscore asterisk at the end. Now it is bold and italics. And if you want to take it one more step, because you really want to be cool, you can also do strike through italics and bold all at the same time. Okay, if you want to change your font to fancy fonts, fancy styles, type in change font on Google. Okay, there's two websites you can use. One is called lingojam.com. The other is igfonts.io. They both work. And now let's go ahead and check this out. I already have some words. Well, I never knew I could do this. This is freaking awesome, man. Thanks, CJ. On the left, font changer. All right, so put your words on the left. Type it in, whatever you want to write. On the right, you just go ahead and copy whatever it is that you want to copy. So you can scroll down. You can actually, you know, write it upside down. If you ever saw this, someone commented upside down and you don't know how the heck they did that, that's how they did it. They used this website. Whatever you want to choose here, you can do it. So I'm going to pick something right now. Then you're going to copy. You're going to copy it, select, press the left mouse button, drag it and copy it, right click and hit copy. And now I'm going to show you if, if I were to tweet on Twitter, I would right click, hit paste, and there it is. You see that it came up? That's how it would look. So whatever you wanna choose on the font changer, you can do it on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. It all works for all of them because you have plain text and plain text can be changed with the website. Here is igfonts.io, and just to show you that it does work on that website as well, I'm going to copy this and paste it here, and it's the same thing, okay? It doesn't matter which website you use, you can use any one of them. The, the only problem when you do this kind of fancy font is that the character limit is shortened because... You're using more characters because you're changing the font. This one character may take up three characters. So just keep in mind that you're going to have to keep your words a little bit shorter if you're going to use these fancy fonts.
It's very simple to use. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Take it easy, guys.